Hi there, the great and glorious, soon to be famous one day, Nick Dutch coming straight back on the camera yet again with another delightful tarot show. The first one that I'm broadcasting not only by the website YouTube, via the account Nick Dutch Tarot, but also via MySpace, via the account Nick Dutch Tarot. Okay, now we've got two uh, interesting readings to do today from uh, people who responded to me and said, yeah man, I like your show, we want to have a reading done, and totally free. So here we go. Um, the first one, I'm not mentioning any names today, I want to keep anonymity, uh, is someone who's been watching my show for a, wh a while, really likes it, and now has a few quick questions. Uh, this character and their mother is uh, talking about moving out, out of state relatively soon to North Carolina. Uh, and this person is asking whether this is a good time to do so. And also, will the mother be able to find work? And also, should the person who's asked me to do the reading be uh, taking some time off college to basically take some financial responsibility and see you know, how things are going to go? Well, we'll have a quick look for you. All right? I'll do a chronological reading. We'll have a look at the subjects of the move. We'll have a look to see uh, what other energies, thoughts, and feelings are basically coming through here one step at a time. Okay. Now, my main tool of divination is tarot. Today, I'm reading with the Book of Thoth tarot because... Um, I have it to hand, I like it, and uh, we'll just get a feeling of what's happening, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now from the top, we got some interesting signs here, signs that you probably would not initially consider to be good, but I'm reading and I'm feeling some positive stuff coming through here, despite the fact that we've got some rather negative um, colors. Yeah, we got some signs of change, we got a, a desire to gain more stability. The lightning struck tower... Uh, can often mean instability and or destruction. But in this particular case, because of the context of the reading and because of what I'm feeling and what's coming through to my little mind, this seems to be talking to me about trying to gain more stability. So it does look like that this is the right time to move. Of course, we've got some very strong senior uh, female energies coming through. Well, actually, this is um, a princess card, not a, not a queen card. But it's talking about uh, a female character who's got aspirations to not only have more control and more stability because it's a coin suit, but also someone who has a feeling that they can actually get it. So we've got a feeling of overcoming difficulties, strong female character, managing to gain more stability. So yes, the in the early stages of this reading, it's still looking very positive. The yes, now is the right time to uh, take, take some control there. <laughs> now, as you move further on into the reading, uh, the reading is having a look at the basically the other questions. As far as finding work is concerned, now let's be uh, rational and realistic about this. We are in an economic decline at the moment. Work is very scarce. Get your mother to start looking for work ASAP, all right? It's a, looking for work no matter what. It's a 16-hour-a-day job, seven days a week. And you've got to take it much more seriously than you would take working for somebody else. So start looking for the work now before the move happens. And I would recommend... Um, Think more about the move when you've got some good quality leads for work and you're more known by the recruiters and by the companies in the area. All right? So let's have a, a deeper look into the reading. Now, the final question here is, of course, if this move is taken, should the person who's asked me to do the reading take some time off college? Uh, well, I'm seeing and sensing pressure and stress here. Um, I would say that as we've got no financial signs towards the tail end of this reading, it is necessary for you to look out for financial stability. So taking some financial responsibility, yes, that is um, pretty essential. You know, your mother won't be able to afford to support you forever, and right now is a good time to start learning it about how that aspect of things is done. Um, so basically, the bottom line is, do look for some work. You know, according to this reading, remember, you're still the person who makes the decisions about your life. All I can do is tell you what, what's here, okay? And this is an entertainment service, so you don't have to um, take it as being uh, like the content of a science textbook, all right? But in the meantime, uh, we've got a second reading to do today, and uh, this is someone who would also like me to do a reading, uh, who's been with her boyfriend for nine months and was just wondering if they've got a future together, all right? And also he's having some, some problems uh, supporting his mother. Uh, he's working two jobs and wants to move out and start his own life and go to college. All right, well, let's tackle the first question first and foremost. 
uh, about yourself and your boyfriend. Bear with me a second. All right, the cards are already shuffled. I'm just doing a few cuts here just to increase the randomness of the deck so we'll get a little more complex and hopefully enlightening reading. All right, so as far as D have new beginnings, from the top, the Magician card always talks about a massive stage of initiation, which is by analogy like, uh, you know, your first day in a new job, your first day in college. But there's also a slightly strange feeling about this. You know, we got the optimism, but we've also got a sense within this reading um, that there is a need for extra knowledge there. The Hermit can speak of um, knowledge and wisdom. And both these cards are reversed, which is talking essentially about a bit of a delay. All right, it's not a complete and utter, no, it's not going to happen. It's more a question of there's going to be a delay prior to actually getting to where you need to go. Now, I'm expanding the reading a little further, and hey, presto, we've got the Ten of Cups, which is talking about satisfaction. The Suit of Cups is always associated with loving energy, okay? So I'm feeling progression. I'm not feeling uh, a completely perfect situation between the two of you. I'm sensing progression onto something that's better. you still got to get more knowledge, more wisdom, build the connectivity, but yeah, the signs of satisfaction are definitely there. So your long-term future is looking very, very good on the basis that you carry on working together, building the connection, making sure this is a real new start, making sure that the information that's going between you uh, is also going to be beneficial to you long term. Find out more about each other, spend some more time together. Uh, now, of course, we've got the questions of supporting the mother, uh, working two jobs and wanting to move out. <clears throat> All right, well, let's just um, break the deck open again. So we've got some different signs and different thoughts and feelings coming through. All right. Again, we've got a very interesting reading because we've got some signs that come through which you might think are negative, but I'm still seeing some positive stuff here. Um, if we start on the, um, on the left-hand side, obviously financial problems associated with trying to support someone. Uh, there is going to be some change here. We've only got the sadness and the un unhappy energies surrounding the here and now and the very short-term future. It does look like he's going to be able to escape and make his freedom. Finally, uh, the Swiftness card is talking about healing and about a feeling of redemption, which is going to somehow be beneficial for all of you guys. Now, what the reading is not doing is telling me the precise methodology as to how this change is going to happen. All right? but it is talking about progress. He's got the willingness, and I think he's got the intelligence to be able to make something occur. So obviously when we look at the swiftness signs here, the word there is swiftness, and all the signs are very mercurial to do with healing and using your intelligence, that he's going to be able to overcome that particular issue. All right. So again, we have another, another reading which still has some signs of uh, sorrow, frustration, you know, a feeling of is this going to work out or not. I suppose my advice on the strength of the reading is, number one, give stuff a go, but also make sure that you're still doing it within um, rational limits. Obviously, money is hard to come by these days, so do think about financial stability for everybody and make sure you structure your plan, all right? Um, don't just listen to my reading and then not research the rest of the environments and all the other forces which are involved in affecting the career decisions and the moving decisions. That's very essential. As I said before, it's rational to explain a tarot reading as an entertainment service that can give you therapeutic benefit. It's not rational for me to tell you that I somehow have access to um, a version of Microsoft Outlook which is wired directly into the brain of God. <laughs> So, so long as we get that like uh, intellectual balance there, I think that you're going to be fine. All right, look after yourself. Good fortune. God bless. If anyone else out there wants to participate in next week's tarot show, send me an email either to my YouTube account, which is Nick Dutch Tarot, or to my MySpace account, which is also Nick Dutch Tarot, and I'll be more than happy to um, consider including you in the list of readings that I've got. Okay. Good fortune. God bless. Have a great day.